Hello everyone. Today is weekend, so I stay at home and have something to talk with you guys, and maybe I can share with you guys a little bit about Tekla and Rabbit, and also I can plot English on some. So if anyone interested in this one, uh, please connect to me and we can share the knowledge. Or I have been using Rabbit for three years, and I'm now a um, Rabbit user, and I'm beside my specialist. My specialty is um, this micro infrastructure and push. So if anyone you are with doing the same job, if you are want to make a like a relationship or any connection with me, you can connect to me by email, by Facebook, and you connect via my fan page on Facebook as well. Um, so. To be honest, I'm Vietnamese and my English is not really good, or my English is not like native speaker. But I only want to try my best to speak and make all you can understand not only about the knowledge in Tekla, but also sharing about my experience, something like that. Okay, um, good to hear the feedback from all you guys from around the world, right? Okay, um, for this video today, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the the advantage of Tekla and Revit. Um, the, I'm going to compare between Tekla and Revit for a little bit. And here I'm using Tekla Structure 2021 and Rev Revit 2022. Um, today we're going to make a very really simple project. Um, because I'm a nip, I have been us using Revit for three years, but for Tekla I have been using it to about three months. No, not three months, uh, about one month. Um, and actually, I feel tech lights have some advantage compared to Revit in reinforcement arrangement. So that's the reason why I make this video. So I'm gonna open a new template in uh, Revit. We're gonna use a Madrid, not using Imperial uh, template. Okay, I'm gonna use Revit 2022 is um, template. I'm gonna use um, English. And then I'm going to use just something really simple, it's the format. Here we're going to OK. And then in Tecla, I'm going to use a student version. I'm using student version in Tecla, Tecla 2021. Um, so I'm going to new a new model, it's new model 1. I'm going to use it right here and create a new, new project. Um, today, we're going to make a, a video about reinforcement for a foundation and a column. It's really simple. Um, we, to compare between the different and the advantage of this of each software, right? Um, the one thing that you, we, if we are using um, Tecla for student version, we cannot open it in uh, like the commercial, the commercial version. So yeah, just practicing. Let me see. Let's find this window. Okay, um, in Tecla and Revit have some different in create, creating grid and level. So in Revit, it's creating level and which is really simple, really fast. It's like this. You want to grid, you use a command GR. Uh, you can just like this. And if you want it, the other one just copy. GC, right it. But in Tecla, you need to do more. If you want to do a grid, you double click in the grid here or you can use a shift command and then double click to open the property window yeah here you have to um, tie in uh, the number the exact number it's gonna based on the coordinate you need to understand that it is uh, x y yes um, direction here yes here from bottom to the top X and Y. So that's here you can you're gonna put the, the number right here. So uh, to make it easy you're gonna make the like a panel, not a panel, it's like a footy uh, to go straight to our our um, video. So we just put a putting right here, you can change the the uh, the land or something like this. And but in private we're gonna uh, sign and we're gonna create a foundation not a full thing but in here in we're gonna use a foundation structure 
Here we have the uh, beam walk on floor, just basic condition as well. Component, uh, swath. It has no foundation, right? We see a foundation. New template. You, we can create a new template, it's like a new family. We're gonna go to English family template we're gonna to go to English we're gonna use it as a foundation which is structural foundation and we can create like a rectangle a solid okay right here we're gonna finish we're gonna use it a little bit thicker right okay and then we log into project and put it right here okay and then we have the uh, the foundation here if we want to create the reinforcement in Revit Revit, we're gonna create a section um, right here. Okay, but in Techland, it's a little bit different. I'm um, gonna go to Rebar and you're gonna have as many many options right here to create a uh, Rebar. You can create a cross section, you can create longitudinal by face, by your eyes. It's many. Um, in Techland, you don't have a to create a section. In this one, you're gonna create a reinforcement in 3D, 3D view. This line crossing is quite easy. You put right here. You wanna choose uh, one or two or three, and you double on your like middle mouse or like this. You cannot see it and anything. You just press the command control one. Yeah, you're gonna see right here. Or you're gonna cross section you if you want like this, you just press double click. Yeah. But in Gravit it's a little bit different. You go to section, you go to view, uh, then you choose rebar. Okay. It has no chef to load in. You need to go to library, you go to English. You go to not here, you have to use the Revit twenty two, the library of uh, Revit 2020. Um, here I have the library US Pinterest. I'm gonna go to Structure Reaper Share. Structure Reaper Share. I'm gonna just load on this one into my project. If you have anyone, anything, any chef you are create, uh, you can you can load it in right here. So this is like system family. It you can create a new temp a new rebar chef you can create and then you import it right in your project. Yeah, wait a little bit of time before it to load in. Yeah, um for this one you're gonna choose uh the way you do the enforcement in the section. Um uh, right here it has the parallel to work plan is mean it's gonna um parallel to the work plan right here. Where you cut is, it, it don't, you don't see the rebar shape. You click into the tree uh, dock right here. <sighs> you wanna see? Yeah, I wanna create the uh, stuff. I'm gonna press spray, spray button to change the uh, stutter position. Yeah, and then you can. I turn it. Use maximum spacing. Yeah, and so in Revit you could not see as well. You're gonna go to find and by frame, but it's not in solid. In Revit, you have to edit right here. You're gonna choose from this one to this one. Uh, keep press the shift button and choose the last one to the first one. Yeah, right here. And then you're gonna show share. Yeah, but in Revit, you have a one diff a really difficult thing that um, if you want to change the color of this one, you have to create a filter uh, right here. Uh, you wanna, yeah, this one is uh, structure rebar one. I'm gonna duplicate and change the diameter. I duplicate is the 20, and then here I'm gonna use a 20, uh, 12. Uh, this one I'm gonna use a 70, 70. This one is about uh, 50. Okay, I don't know. Okay, and then it's I wanna change the color of this one. I'm gonna go to VV command, I'm gonna go to filter. And edit. Yeah, it take a, a lot of more time than a normal uh, in 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 tech line, right? Uh, the cell, okay. And then when I structure rebar, 
structure reward. Okay, here I'm gonna choose the body button and then the equal trial and it's gonna have the color. I'm gonna add it to this filter. It's one is become the red color. I'm gonna pattern. I'm gonna set up it into uh, red color. I'm gonna okay and this one is become red color. And for different color, you're gonna have to set up the different. Another thing is you can create my mark here as well but it takes more time but it takes like, quite easy it's gonna um, recognize the rebar group by group it's like this group of rebar you're gonna choose a class it's like green right here yeah you choose green you need to press the button modify it's become green it's quite easy it's faster and another thing is uh, in tech law you can set up you can change the uh, how you say overlap maybe overlap is cut is it gonna spread you choose to the you can you can choose the end of the, the, the bar right here you can choose this one to this one and you keep the key yeah you're gonna see it's have the, the end and or you wanna cut it right here you're gonna split and this one to this one yeah you can see it's have it's cut it have some okay and then uh, for this direction I delete it okay and then another thing is cross section here okay you can see it have no class even when you if you want to change this one it's uh, inside of this one it's quite easy to just shoot to the rebar Okay, not here. This one is cross section. Okay, it's become the the layer. You can see its layer number. You can choose it to become one, and how is that? Okay, and this one is layer uh, two modify, and this one is layer one. Let me see. No. Okay. Just let me cut this one for a little bit. Um, we can cut it one rebar. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make it in column right here. Column, twist. Column. Column. Right. So, in, in Tecla, it have a lot of tool for you to create a rebar. Uh, it's like, you can come here, you can do like, uh, column. It have a lot of option for you to set up the rebar reinforcement. This one here, automatic reinforcement. You can then you can easily to change the uh, the parameter or the number of rebar. You just double click right here. It have a lot of option for you. You can choose the rebar cover. You can set up long return, long utility long rebar. It's a lot of option for you. But in Revit is it's quite difficult right in Revit you cannot like it's quite difficult it's a lot of difficulty more than rather than uh, in tech bar yeah okay we're gonna open tech bar for okay for this one I'm gonna create a script by face you can choose the face and automatically create create for you yeah you can see it's have class detection I have no. I gonna edit three bar. Okay, layer is layer one. I'm fine. I can choose the number. It's become this one. Yeah, it have class. I say now really it, it's gonna show you the layer number it's like you can change it for the foundation yeah and for the foundation you don't need to in tech law you don't need to create reinforcement by this way you can 
come here and you're gonna press the footing it's gonna give you the footing reinforcement yeah put it here it's gonna automatically arrange reinforcement for you yeah it's become growth you can see it's have no no glass and when you and another thing is when you change the Yeah, when you change the the um, design of the footing, it's automatically gonna change the reinforcement followed by according the the footing uh, cover, rebar cover, concrete cover, or something like that. But you grab it, it's not. It like if you want to change this one, you're gonna edit this one and um, make it a little bit bigger. You're gonna see how it gonna change without the two project. Oh, it changed. Really? Yeah, just for this one. And maybe it's about a uh, long, long video to do one section. It's a little bit different. So let me see this one. The two view. The architect uh, structure rebar. Perpendicular. I'm going to choose a rebar like here. Okay, my son is basing. A friend. This one. I did. Okay, let me change the design of this one. On is my chain or something. Oh, it's automatically changed. Oh, it's the same. But in tech lines have some different another different is about cutting another footing. I'm gonna make it the uh back roof. Start point, end point and this one. Yeah, you can see. Oh, Back off. the direction of the rebar, the range of the rebar. Yeah. Okay, let me see again. Back off. The direction and the range of the rebar. Okay, we're gonna see it's half layer. No, no layer. Normally it's have the layer for you to change. This one it have the normal bar. It have a lot of options right here. Okay, so um especially for me I think it's rebar reinforcement intake lights have a lot of different you can split this one, you can split it one. White have no choice for to split. Um uh, it. Another beam as well. Crossing. Okay, this one. Okay, for this one, I'm going to choose split right here. choose a long dictidium okay for this one let's split it one yeah and this video I just show you a little bit of this one and maybe I'm gonna when I get some more knowledge I'm gonna share with you guys more different between Revit and Teclar. So, say goodbye. Thank you.